Hi guys! So this week's video I'm doing a supernatural haul of legit every single item that I own which is quite a few. The obsession, well you'll see how much it's affected me. Um, okay the first item I'm going to go through is every piece of clothing that I own. Okay. So the first piece of item I ever got was Osric's Proud to Be Unique campaign that he got. And I chose this thing like because it's hot here. Okay? It's really hot. And I really actually really liked his whole idea of um, being individual and everything that he stood for in that campaign. So, I think mean, campaign. So we can write it down. So yeah, I got that one. Then Jared, when he started his his campaign actually meant a lot to me, like it does to a lot of people, but I only came to realise it earlier this year how much that campaign actually does. Um, that I, it's not the easiest, so what am I doing? Yeah, sorry. It's not the, um, don't know if I'm quite talking about it yet, but yeah he's Jared does a lot for me not that anyway yeah so yeah um I kind of have every single one of Jared's campaigns because of how much it is to me so um I got his first one when he did the original um always keep fighting with his face I didn't really know he, I don't think he had, at the time, the singlet ones like Osric, but I got the t-shirt one and it's kind of been in the wash too much now so it's kind of shrunk a bit, so it's kind of really small. And did his second one with Jensen, the Oz Keep Finding Mission Squirrel. I got the singlet one, I actually love it, and I always, it's a nice material these ones. I have the Always Keep Finding with the little tea light. Jared, little moose antlers, and I opted for the baseball tee because I wanted some to wear in winter. So I got that, and I chose black. If you can see my wardrobe, as you do in some videos, most of it is black. But the always keep finding SPM family with the little um, anti possession tattoo in a singlet. Wait, I love them. This one here is actually one of my top three designs that they did. I wear this one a lot. So there's that one. Have you saw the first one? That's also in the top three. And again, it's my winter one. It's another singlet in black. But I opted for the rainbow design of the I'm Enough. Always keep fighting. Love yourself first. Oh, that was cool. And I pick colour because mainly, as I said, a lot of my wardrobe is black and dark colours. So, I had a bit of colour to spruce it up. That, then, this is my all time favourite one, which I think was his last design he did. Was the Always Keep Finding um, Family Has Your Back one. Again, singlet. The design is fucking amazing like I can't get I wear this one so much and I'm scared that these little what do you call them fuck I forgot the word anyway because they're so small I think they're gonna snap soon same as Osric's one when he was doing his relaunch I got the first one again the original one in the where's the little mark you can't see it got the little thing in the original design as because the first one is a bit small on me now so now I just bought it for thing in me for winter but this is the size small like all my sizes that I've bought from represent are small but this one it's fucking massive like I don't know if they've stuck the wrong tag on it or what but it feels like a large or extra large it's yeah so with his campaigns I also got my beanie which I wear all winter. I try wearing in summer because 
I bean these up everything that I wear but in winter but I can't do it. It gets too hot. Don't know how Jared does it. Oh god. I sweat. I sweat too much. Mark's um make hell great again shirt. He's actually not a bad design. I don't mind Mark it. And it's again singlet because it's fucking hot here. And they did um I think it was Jared, Jensen, and Misha. They did the love campaign. So I got that and I also opted for the beanie, but this material isn't as nice as the Always Keep Fighting one. So, even though I do still love this video, it's like my backup for this one, but I wear my Always Keep Fighting one a lot. My last campaign shirt is the um, You're Not Alone one by Jared and... Not Jared. I've got Jared on the brain now. <laughs> Sorry. From Jensen and Misha. And... I don't know. It, to me, it's, it's like a jumper. But it's too thin to be a jumper. So, it's kind of like a long sleeve thing. But this is this one. This shirt I got. I can't remember the site I got it off. But it's, um... I mainly got it because it was, um... The... Like a little spin-off to Lou Baggett. Vegas. Oh, get his name pronouncing right. Um, Mumbo number five. And it was the a little bit of Gabriel in my life. A little bit of Castiel by my side. And the design's pretty cool. And again, yes, it's black. The clothing I got. It's kind of, it, it, it's super natural late. It's not official merch, but I got it when the, what are those? The Hollywood Girls. Um, the death parody, so I kind of bought also, and these are kind of more, I can't, the, I bought them in a big size and they're kind of like pyjama tops that I wear. So I got the Dean with the ribbon, still got their signatures on it as you can see. Angel's gonna play, Demon's gonna hate. What was the Shake It Off? This one is the one I'm wearing. It's um, not official merchandise, but it's, as you can see, it's Kim Rhodes inspired, so Kim did inspire this. I couldn't find it anywhere, so I kind of made it myself. And I think it's pretty cool. And that's kind of... Oh wait, no. That's all the clothes I have. I have actually this collage um, of all the faces from Hot Topic. I'll insert the picture along, but I've got that one coming. It's, at the moment it's being shipped. A lot of I've got an order being shipped from Hot Topic anyway. So a couple of items that I'm going to be talking about are in there. So I've got that shirt and I've also got the Winchester Brothers. Um, I think that's a baseball tee one as well. i got that one coming. And... Yeah. That's it for... Oh, unless you want to count plaid. I've got a shit ton of flannel. Which I had some before but since Supernatural started it grew like way more next one i have is jewelry related items my first one i ever got was about late no yeah 2006 2007 and i got this i don't know if you're able to see this but oh is it gonna do blur basically what i have is i've got dean's replica ring and I got it from eBay. Also around 2006-2007 I also got these two which I got a pentagram necklace which I used to wear constantly like 24-7 that. A funny story to go along with this was um, my high school was a Catholic one and not allowed to wear any jewellery, any rings, bracelets. You could wear earrings but they had to be like plain sort of ones and same with a necklace you was only a cross so I used to wear this thank god the chain was long enough it stuck under my uniform but anyway um the main story was my crush at the time then saw the necklace wanted what was on I was like no I'm not showing you so then he reaches down in my uniform and he pulls out the necklace and goes is that from that show? I was like, yeah. These were around the same time. They're just little pentagram. Is it gonna work? No. 
little pentagram earrings. They're kind of rusted now. Don't really wear hoop earrings. But yeah, I need to get them polished. But I have them. I don't know where I got this from. This is another necklace. But it's how can I show you? It's got like a it's got a bullet. It's got a pentagram. It's got wings. There. Can you see? You probably can't. I'm touching it too much. And then it's got this little badge thingy that says Team Winchester on it. And it's pretty cool to, like if you go to cons or cosplay and you just want some merch with you. So I have that. But for honest to god I have no idea where I bought this from. Because like I said it was from 12, nearly 13 years ago I bought that. Necklace I got from my best friend Hayley that I met through Supernatural at um, my first convention I ever went to and she gave me this. I think it was actually, no, we met at the first one and then she gave it to me at the second convention we went to. So basically it's the demon knife that Ruby gave the boys. This part is actually really sharp, like you can actually cut shit with it. That's what we were talking about when she gave it to me but I like that and I wear this now to the conventions I go to here in Australia. Here that I have, they're not really official Supernatural merch but when I saw them they reminded me of the show so I kind of bought them which the first one is this um, really nice um, pair of wings with some little glittery gem shit, I don't know what they call it but I like that. And I also have another really nice long necklace, but it comes with these pair of wings. So it's like another Castiel Angel sort of version necklace. And a, oh wait, no. I have this. I've got um, Jen's um, bracelet necklace, whatever you want to but Because I don't wear a lot of necklaces. I don't like things around my neck. I can't opt for fingers or wrists. So... I turned it into a bracelet and it I think Jared helped her with it too but it's for the Stronger Than Storms campaign and yeah I got that. Before I forget because I need to go into all these other I've got all the merch like surrounding me before I um yeah on the back of my desk like I've got all these little like quotes and pictures of family and all this little stuff and all my organization I've also got the little they're from my calendar, I think 2009. I'll check with the date and I'll insert it, but these are the pictures. I've got one of one of Jensen and one of Jared. Yes, my poor Jared one is ripped because my cat decided to claw the fucker. These these are diaries back in the day of I think what was it from? TV Guide? I think brought them out. This is back when Supernatural was on channel 10 and it was actually airing the same time as the states and it kind of went off air and then channel 11 now has it but enough of that i have on my laptop which oh can i pull it out i'm just gonna take it off charge which yes i have a lot of stuff that it's not a boyfriend people that is my brother who likes to stick a picture of his face on my laptop but yeah i've got this jared one here a Jensen here, both of them here. With like, I got some more stickers and I shoved some other shit on it. I have this. Um, nothing. I can't remember how long ago I got it, but um, I think it was probably around the time when it was Supernatural was very new, and I think it was like 2006, 2007 again. But I got for my DS like a little. Game Boy thing. I have the sticker of the boys and it actually Oh, I did have it. Sorry. I did have more on the inside, but I must have peeled it off, but I got that So pretty cool when I get the odd occasion to play a game but. Description I'll be leaving um, a link to all the merch that I own So if you want to if you see anything you like in here and you want to buy it I'll do my best everything that I can. There will be a link down below. You'll obviously see most of them are from the same place. But I have this mug which I also I should have showed with my 
clothing, but I got an Always Keep Fighting mug. I think that was with, this was with the relaunch. I got this, but I, this is actually the second one because the first one I got sent out, it actually broke in shipping. So I had to like complain, which I hate doing and I really felt bad. And then they thankfully, um, represent, sent me out a second one and I'm intently grateful for that because I love it. And it's good for hot chocolate. I have this water bottle with the collage of photos of the boys and then it's got Supernatural in the hunt. Um, I just like this kind of merch better because I like the collage. I don't like one picture. Like I think these designs look better. So yeah, that. Um, as you can tell, that was from Hot Topic. Um, I don't think this design's available anymore on the website. I think they've got something else, which is just a random one picture, and I'm like, oh, thank God I got mine. This is sorry, I need to get comfortable. Don't mind me. Um, this is the com bag that I use when I go. Or actually when I've been to every single what I was talking about, I've only been to three conventions. But this one here, it's I'm pretty sure I bought a size large. It was this design's done by a girl called Angie. Her I think her what does what do you call it? Anyway, her name that she uses is it's um Bone Janglis. Jangle. Anyway, I'll leave a link to her. She's actually quite the amazing artist like she's really good drawing but I got this one because I was going I've been I always go to the Sydney conventions here in Australia as you see so I opted for that design um I love it it's great size holds everything that I need to bring there but the only thing I would like is if there was a Brisbane version but she only does the conventions that where the conventions are basically and there's no real I would like for a Brisbane one because I'm from Brisbane but it's still Australian, so I was like, mm, yeah, fuck it, I'll just get the one that I'm going to go to. I got this last year in an order. I got a couple of things, so you'll see them later on, but because this is still going on with the bags, I got um, this other com bag, which will not go great, because this one I always used to overfill Angie's one. This one here is from Shelley at Conquest Journal. What is it? Yeah, Conquest Journals. And I picked this one in... Because, like I said, I can't pick just plain print. I like the collage and... Shh. Sam. So I got this one. And it's got everything on here. It's got Biggersons. It's got Carry On. It's got Pig and a Poke. It's got the ghost faces. It's amazing. And she's actually got really... Like, she does one up than what um, Shelley does than what Angie does. She's actually got, in the bag, a pocket for your wallet keys I don't know what other shit you're gonna put in there and then there's another smaller pocket at the front for your phone and shit and I was like good on you that's like really good so I'm excited because hopefully there's some conventions I want to go to this year so I'm gonna be using that these we've got supernatural playing cards um not much I can really tell you about them they're playing cards I have this plushie of Sam, which I got, I know you can get it from Hot Topic now and other places, but I actually got this from the convention I just went to last year, All Hell Breaks Loose 9, and this was my free gift because I got, um, I got the, what was it, Ultimate or, no, Platinum ticket, like the highest ticket, and you got a free gift. Um, so yeah, I got him. Thank God they didn't make me choose between Dan. Why am I talking about my own name now? I am rambling so much I can't talk. I couldn't choose between um, Sam or Dean and thankfully the chick that was handing them out gave me Sam because I would be able to do that. She, she knew deep down. Which I keep um, mainly at the my doorway. There is this from Hot Topic, The Devil's Trap. My family absolutely hate it. They say, can we get this out of the house? They're scared some sort of demon's gonna come in. I was like, it's not how it works. I have this also from Hot Topic. It is the umbrella. It has the little devil's trap here in the... Sorry, my dog's in the room. Um, this, and then when you like open it, it's got another bigger devil's trap and it's also got Jared, Jensen, Misha, and 
Mark's face on it, which I kind of forgot it had. Like I thought it, I was just ordering because I thought it was like the devil's trap. I was gonna say supernatural, but I got that. I have to get um, speaking of my car, I have, I'm going to insert the picture, I have the three little key rings of Sam, Dean, and Cass, which kind of hang on my obsession of key rings in my car. These little guys, um, I got two of the possession, anti-possession tattoos for what I cosplay, which, that, or if I'm just feeling it for Halloween, or... I just kind of want to be cool and I feel, feel like I'm a hunter. That, and I also got this air freshener, which you kind of can't see, I just realised now. It was of a cassette. Don't actually know what it smells like, but it's I'm just waiting for my other one to run out in my car, as in that one. This baby will be going in. These ones here, I had one. So these are my original ones, but I don't know if um like over time or the heat got to them or whatever it is because i've watched them so much but they're all scratched and like the cases are inside are all sticky and they're all majorly fucked up so i don't know what's wrong and like they basically they don't play some episodes I get, some of them I don't get any episodes, and then some of them it's like you're fucking bunny hopping in a, in a bloody manual car through the episode. So thankfully for Christmas, my brother's lovely girlfriend got me 11 and 12, which I'm so like, yes. She was going to buy me the whole season apparently, but anyway, don't need to know that. She got me season 11 and 12, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to go redo it, so then I went out and I bought the box set of 1 to 10 so now I'm in heaven because I've got all of them and I can just watch them over and over and over again and hopefully don't fuck them up because it is a lot of money to purchase this again I've also got the anime series now this I don't know how many people have actually watched this but I've never I've heard about it I've never actually saw it so when I finally bought it Absolutely, like I love every single episode that's in there. They've done half of them are from the series and they've kind of put their own twist on it. And then they've got some of their, like completely their own um, created ones. And they're, I think that I was laughing the entire time. If you've never got this, I highly suggest you go out and buy this. Um, and there's a little secret that I'll probably tell you every before every episode on here um jared and jensen do a little intro and tell you about the episode i totally did not know this no one told me about this so when it first played i lost it there's a video i have of myself doing that if you want to see that leave a comment i will post it to my twitter but yeah Holly, the only the only negative i can ever think that comes out of this is that they made Sam and Dean call each other bro. And it just sounded really, really weird. That's the only thing that irritated me. Other than that, it's a good quality gift. Or obsession. I don't know how to say. Now this is here, this is where I think it's the difference between the cons here in Australia to what you guys in the States or Italy or what's the other one in in England I don't know but in here in Australia when we have a convention we can always um, buy the DVD and that's basically it shows you the entire convention and you get to relive it over and over again so the three conventions I've been to I now have all the DVDs I went to All Hell Breaks Loose 6 that was the first time Jared and Jensen were coming back since they've been here. I think the first time they were in 2009. But then, um, yeah, with Jared, so I need that. So I got that. Um, then I went the same year and I went to the first Christmas one that we do. Now, I think we're actually the only country that does a Christmas themed convention for the cast. So that was the first one we ever did, and that was All Hell Breaks Loose 
Christmas. So I had that DVD and then I couldn't go the following year in 2016 because my health deteriorated and didn't really have the money. Um, so then I went this year, still wasn't that great with health but I was going hella high water because Jared and Jensen were coming back and yes, it was the greatest time of my life even though I was dying. Oh, I'll insert the picture. I have this blanket coming in my order. It's kind of got um, Jared and Jensen's faces. There's a bit of like, it's blue. I think there was the Devil's Trap. And it, it just looked really cool to me. And plus, I like blankets to snuggle up in. So how I insert the picture. In my bed, I've got the, I don't know if it's still available actually at Hot Topic. But I've got the body pillow of... Um, Jared and Jensen. Poor Jensen is face down <laughs> and Jared is the one that I snuggle with because I'm single. These um, badges which I got from my first um, convention that I went to and I have moose, squirrel, bitch, jerk, ghost faces, some other quotes. There's some more on this side. Um, my friend, she totally, she bought me this as a complete surprise. She bought me the same one as the con bag, but in a badge form. Um, Kim did, and yeah, I think that's amazing. She's another um, lovely gesture that the fandom has. Sorry about that, guys. My camera ran out of storage. But anyway, as I was saying, in that um, this poster that I got here, I was going to use it for... Um, what do you um to get the guests to sign it um at all the conventions? But I think it's gonna be nicer folded up. So it's got, like I said, um, it's got supernatural, team free will, saving people, hunting things, the family business. Then it's got a mixture. I think of all the title cards that we've had. So we've got it's got the broken glass. It's got like a season three sort of vibe, and I just think it's pretty sick as. I got this one from the Red Bubble. Don't think I've got the artist's name down, but I'll try my best. If I don't, sorry, there won't be a link to this one here. This is the poster I got back. It was part of the calendar that they brought out. What was this? I was 16 when this one came out, so seven years ago, this one came out, and this is the one I take and get everyone to sign. As you can see, it's from season five screenshot. Um, but yeah, I have gone so far, Timothy's, I've got Matt's, um, Amy, that was Mark Pellegrino's, I've got Jensen's, i got Richard's, I have Osric's, Jared's, Brianna, that one, what's that one? Yeah. Emily, that was Rob. Who's this? Who's someone else that I've seen? I'm forgetting someone. Mark Shepard. I think that's his signature. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. It's a bit worn out because, like I said, it's seven years old, this poster. So i got to get it in a frame so it's nicely, but. That's my autograph collection so far. These ones here, these two here I have from... My sister bought me them from when she went to Melbourne last year. And I think they're pretty cool. But... I'm, this is the only thing I don't know about this and I'm too scared to tell her is I don't know if these are authentic signatures and they're not like, you know, that scan it where they just do it to make more bucks because it's a merchandise. But I still like the pictures and how it was framed. So in this little plaque it says Jared Palaki and Jensen Supernatural TV series 2005. It's got a picture of that on here. Like look, you look at that. That's not their signatures at all. I don't know whose signature that is but. Okay, so I got that one. Then I have this one which it says the same deal but it's got the cast and this one actually has their signatures I'm pretty sure. So it's got um Who's this one? It's got Jensen, it's got Jared's, it's got Mark's, and Mish's, which I've never gotten before. 
but he's meant to be coming to the convention this year so fingers crossed uh, back to Elias um my sister also got me I don't know where she finds these stores but she found them and I have this frame picture oh there's a lot of glare you're seeing of the boys and that it did have their authentic signatures but the pen wore off so maybe someone else copied it. I'm not 100% sure but there is that one and then I have this amazing picture of Jared I think he's actually my age in this picture but yeah his signature is completely worn off his stomach I have the Trivial Pursuit game which I am guaranteeing if I play this against my family I will kick their ass uh, Monopoly oh I probably shouldn't have done that I think all the pieces just fell everywhere so I've got Monopoly and I've also got Clue never knew how to play this as a kid this game will be interesting to play also sorry in my order I've got the save your souls game I have these there's quite you can't get them all in frame but I will start over here these ones here what's that this one's plain we've got plain and blood splatter Sam but I'm pretty sure these will be the same I've got blood splatter and plain Dean then I have Bobby which Haley bought me for Christmas two or one last year no not last year the year before she got me that. Um, I've got. What was that? I had to call it Claire then, sorry. Charlie. I've got Cass with wings. Still need to get him without wings. Then I have him as Steve. Then I have Crowley without the red eyes and Mark of Cain Dean. And that's all my Funko Pops. Well, I've got more, but they're not supernatural I'm gonna spill this but I've got all plus these which I can get up of all Ugh. I'm pretty sure these are every single like little novel based off the series like the whole complete series of the books I've read honestly about half of them because as you can see there's this many the ones that I have, they're actually really, really well written and quite accurate to how the writers in the show write the characters. And I honestly think that some of these could actually be episodes. I want them to be episodes because they're so well written and I need to see them. But if you haven't got any of these, I highly recommend them. <laughs> I have John's journal, which doesn't look like the replica. Then I have Bobby's. Bobby's one was actually really sad. It made me cry. And I think I tweeted the author of it and then yeah it was really sad. I felt a whole new level of poor Bobby. I have the Roads Not Taken book. I think this is um just short stories. I haven't actually read this one yet. It's I've got a lot of books up here to read. This just it's on the list. I have In the Hunt, which I have read. It's kind of just like a. I liked it, but it wasn't. Yes, I need to read it again. Like, I'm... it's more going into depth of the show, the creatures, kind of. Probably being a really bad review of books. I normally am a lot better, but. This is going off the top of my head. Then I have the Book of Ghouls, Monsters, Ghosts, Spirits. What else does it say? Demons, sorry. This one, it mainly just explains every. Yeah, I think this one just explains. Oh, there's a bookmark in here. It shows you where I left off. I haven't finished. I'm up to the Scarecrow. What do you know? I thought I finished that book. The role playing book but I don't get it like it, it tells you what to do and shit but I think it's got a weird way unless I just don't get this style of book I have all of these which 
Actually, if any of you know where to find the rest of these, it'd be great. Um, tweet me the links, but I've only got season one, three, six, and seven of the official companion. Um, they go to school. I actually love reading these, but the bookstores that I go to, they don't stock the rest for some reason, so I don't know where to find them. So if you guys know somewhere I can buy these, that would be great. We appreciated this big blocker, which my dad got me for my birthday two, I want, yeah, two years ago, maybe three. Can't remember. But it's the big, um, essential, I think it's the revised one and it goes up to season 10, I believe. This book is really great. Like, it's amazing. Like, all the little sneaky pockets in there. Like, there's like postcards, little maps. It's just really good. It makes me happy. Um, uh, from Lynn. She is an amazing, amazing writer. And how she put this all together. Um, I originally got, I have both Family Down and Blood and Fangasm. Haven't yet read Fangasm yet. I'm about to read this one. Just waiting to finish reading another book of mine by my favourite author. But, um, that's on the list. But I did read Family Don't End With Blood and oh my god, you guys. Like, I was, I don't know, I think I'm going to cry again. Everyone's chapter in here was just amazing and you guys like you really put your heart and your soul into this and Lynn I can't thank you enough for this it is absolutely amazing if you haven't got this go out and buy it it's amazing and everyone's chapter in here from Jensen's to Kim's to I think Brianna's in here as well actually no Yes, Brianna, like, well, and then Jared's chapter, and then you got Mark, like, and, all, and some of the fans as well, you guys, like, I still, like, like, I read this, this is in my bed, no, my goodness, you guys are just amazing, like, and thank you, I'm just kind of, I'm going to stop talking about this book before I actually cry, a sort of, bookish type things I have. I think this though has actually been discontinued because I don't see it anywhere anymore. I don't see anyone talk about it but I've got a bunch of the magazines I used to make. It was like I actually subscribe to my news agent to get these but yeah they're just kind of gone out. I didn't get them at the start because I don't think like again Australia really far behind we don't get everything so I only have a f I have a few but I don't have like I start at oh yeah yeah okay. I start at 12 and then my last one is 31 but I'm still missing a few in between but yeah these are probably really like I think these are unique um pieces to have like they're, they're similar to the companion books, but I think they have a little bit more, and you get awesome covers. So I really like them. But yes, I think they've stopped making them, and no one can get them anymore unless eBay or yeah, eBay has them. Another thing I got from Shelley at Conquest was a hunter's journal. Now this is absolutely amazing. I haven't yet filled mine with the cons that I've gone to because I'm still planning to go to the ones this year and I haven't yet printed off all my little photos and little tidbits to put in here but she, another thing, Shelly, you are up there girl. Like it is amazing. Like the effort you've done to create all these pages with the there's 
Sam page, a Dean page, there's a Bobby page. I'm like, I can't wait. And I've also got, sorry, the map that she that also came with um, my order of every, that's actually pretty cool, but the only thing I'm sad about, my photo ops don't fit in these sleeves. Uh, American photos must be smaller than what we have here, because mine are way bigger. So that's the only downside I'd have to her product, but it's an easy fix that. I just buy my sleeves and put them in here. But other than that, fucking amazing, shall we? I just put my hair. It's amazing, and I can't wait to turn this into a scrapbook that I will love forever. And I can't wait to buy my other one when this fills up, because this will fill up pretty fast when I do it. Because I like to ramble. Like this video, I'm, pr I'm really scared of how long it's going to be for. Speaking of my photo ops, I have this folder here with the stickers that I also got from Shelly. And in here held all of my photos that I've been to in the last three conventions. If you want me to do a flip through and explain it, um, tell me in the comments and I will make another video purely on that. Not going to do that because I will actually talk for about two hours on this. Oh, this is another gift my sister got me from Melbourne when she went there, sorry. I don't know why I can't talk. But it's really, really beautiful. Like It's this little box here and it has like the pentagram and these little my, like It's not actually supernatural related. It, she just bought it because it actually, it looks like it. So this nice little box and on the inside you've got this nice velvet the red felt and it's really, but on the inside what came with it was this is really cool like, I don't did this so I'm really excited about it it came with a pentagram um like little a waxing like you, and extra wax like you so you melt these and then you stick that little badge on the letter you know like the old fashioned when people used to seal letters with wax but kind of I think that's fucking cool so but I don't send letters anymore, so I'm kind of disappointed in that way. Because no one does it. So if you want me to send you a letter, or you want to write me one, and I can send you one back. We've got these these guys. And I'm going to be fucking... Little, oh my god, I'm so excited. So, yeah. Let me know, either on Twitter or in the comments, if you want to do letters. I just got, um replicas that I've bought. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is I've got this little mini baby. And when you first look at it, you go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her. That's the Impala. But when you actually look closely, it's, oh, I don't think it's going to focus, but anyway. It's got only one, it's got the two doors, but it does have the, I call it the clink plate, the CNK8003. That's a I got that and it's pretty, like I like it. And then I had to upgrade it. Oh, my battery's about to die. Fuck! So I got this. I got the four door one and that one has the CAS plates. And they're pretty cool. Like, I have two Nami ones and I don't think. Wait. Why do they have lines? No, it didn't. They open! Are you fucking for real? <gasps> I've had these for how long and they don't look, they open. I can open the bonnets and I can see the engine, oh my god. What the fuck? How did I not notice this? For like, it's in taste right now. Oh my god. This paper, baby. I got this from Tumblr. I don't know the user because I found this quite, well I think it was 2010, maybe 2012, around then. But it's all made. I actually had to print this out, cut it, and stick it all together. My favourite part though, is when you do this, and you can actually open up the boot. There is the weapon string. oh sorry, the extra plates you can put on. A blank one or the clink one, but it's got the Kaz at the moment. And there's the devil trap. But look at the cutest thing that ever comes with it. If I can get this right with my fucking nails. 
Look, there's a mini Esky. Here, look at the little tiny Esky. It's so cute. And that goes in the boot. And look at it. It's so cute. And I love that one. It is my baby. My biggest one, I have Big Baby. I got her at my first convention. She, I don't think she opens. She's got the lines, but she doesn't open. But I have her. She's amazing. I, oh my phone, my, this is really going to die soon, so I better hurry this up. I have John's Journal, another thing from Shelly. It's really high quality. Good, and I've got all the beads, and I've done this. I try to wrap my beads like... Sam had it in Windigo because you know when he holds it it's all closed up and he's playing with the beads like that so I have it like that and yeah it's amazing and I'll probably get this signed one day when the boys and Jeffrey come back so and then my last three bits of sorry phone was doing something weird um is and these last three are from gifts from the geek and um, it's from my darren in sydney so it comes on the stand i got yes yes i got it i have the first blade which is amazing let me put this down okay the craftsmanship of this is fucking awesome like Proper. It's pretty light. I think I just broke both desk. That and it's really good. And then my second one I got from him. I should probably put it this way. You can probably see it down the bottom, but it, it yes, it comes with a protective tip. Because on the stand, I think I'm missing though. Um. See how on this one it actually says Angel Blade? I think I was meant to have one for the first blade, but I don't actually... It didn't come in the box. But anyway, back to the Angel Blade. This... It's actually sharp. Like, I could actually cut something or... And... It's actually pretty heavy. Like... A decent one. So, I love this. This is awesome. Got that fade, and then lucky last is I got this last week. It comes. This is, by the way, the most expensive um replica, and these two I thought were good. This one does it. It comes in this little box. Oh, okay. yeah, and then you open. These little latches, and don't, 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 don't. you probably guess what it is. The, okay, the bullets are everywhere, but I've got a replica cult. Okay, I'll show you this first. Oops, sorry, but bullets, they're all plastic, wood, I don't know. But they all have the engine carving, they've got their own little little groove you can see kind of i'll try and take a picture maybe so it goes in that box and then the best part we got none of it like i can't move any of this it's full on and it's that. and then in the gun they've hollowed it out a bit but it's fully non-functional but it is like the real deal. it looks like a legit gun and even has the inscription on um, the I fear I think it, I fear no evil. Is that what it is? Non non tem time mother. I probably slaughtered that, but yeah, see that. And then yeah, see so yeah, that that's it. Oh, I have guys. I have a shit ton of merch, and it probably will get worse as the years go by. So, uh, like I said, all my um, links to any of these products will be in the description for as many as I can get. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, and tell me what you think. And if you want to do that letter exchange, let me know.
I'm actually keen to do that. That sounds so fucking cool. I want to keep stabbing the little things. That and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Are you still there? Okay, good. Quick note why you. Uh, uh, sit, 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 sit down. Don't leave. Put. Uh, sit. Thank you. Okay. I will be back. What is it? What's this video? Come right I will be back on Friday. The. What is it? 19th, but it's 18th for you guys. If you're in America. But I will be back on Friday. Re-uploading every week my Supernatural reaction to season 13. If you want me to react to any other shows, you can either leave me a comment in this video or tell me on Twitter. I'll do another poll on Twitter actually if you want of all the shows that I'm currently watching and if you want to see reactions to that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys then. Bye!